What's up, guys? Uh, Charles, time to own it here. Um, and it really is time to own it. Uh, it's been a few days since I've posted a video, since the goal video. I've been staying uh, on track relatively with the, the nutritional plan. I've sidetracked uh, some, unfortunately, but, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get on that and making it a habit, uh, everyday eating right, um, not drinking soda and stuff and water and, and drinking water and get a wet raid and, and make sure I get in something healthy for my body to feed off of. Um, I am here, uh, just parked, pulled up to the, uh, the gym, though I, I'm at, uh, it's Saturday now, so, like I said, it's been a few days since the video, but I am going to go in here and, uh, I have some anxiety, there's a swim meet today, I heard, so, um, you know, that get kind of gives me an anxiety of knowing it's going to be packed, there's going to be people on the machines, having to kind of wait for a machine to get open or whatever, and you got, you always have that feeling like, uh, are they looking at me, you know, do they, because, because people, you feel like the people's been coming here every day for years, and you're just like the new kid on the block, and they're like, really, you're just going to stand there, or whatever, so, I don't know, I have that anxiety, but I'm not going to let that stop me, there's no fucking way in hell I'm letting anything stop me from going in here and, uh, and, and working out right now, and, and starting the, the first chapter of the workout, um, for my new life, um, so that I can make my life work out for me, um, Nonetheless, I'm going to go in here, pump iron, run, um, and uh, we'll see how everything goes. Uh, but I'll be back shortly. What's up, guys? Charles here, time to own it. Um, I just got out of the gym uh, a few minutes ago, uh, 10 minutes ago, whatever. Um, felt good to get back in there after being out for so long. Uh, trying to make this short, uh, but I started off on, I think it's called the elliptical maybe. I don't know what the hell it's called. You just put the, your feet on it and you run pretty much. It's not, it's not a treadmill. Uh, but it's running, and the, the machine said I ran two miles. I ran for 25 minutes, but uh, it said two miles. I don't know if I can get out of the car and just run two miles down the street, but um, that's what the machine said, whatever. But I ran for 25 minutes, and that was the, the, the goal wasn't to run a certain distance, but it was it was just to get in there and feel good and, and start you know sweating and stuff, and that was the main thing. As soon as I felt that first bead of sweat, it started right here and started itching my nose as I wiped it away. It felt so good to know that, okay, that's the first one of, of just getting in there. And then by the time I was done running, I had sweat running down the machine where you know my hands were holding on to, and um, I seen it dripping on the floor, and that felt good. I uh, also worked on my arms, upper body, mainly shoulders, you know, my upper back, uh, all my arms. In fact, if I'm, the camera's shaking a little bit, uh, that's probably why, because everything's just so intense right now. Um, try to work on every muscle I could, arm-wise, and the experts say that you're supposed to give a day of rest to let your muscles rebuild. That way that, you know, that's the way it works, that way you can build them up more and more as opposed to uh, maybe injuring yourself if you try to do it every single day. So upper body today, or, or arms and, and shoulders rather, I uh, didn't do the chest too much. I'll do that tomorrow, and I'll do legs and lower body tomorrow. And I'm going to run every day, uh, trying to get my weight down. Uh, that being said, like I said, it felt good. Um, you know, it's trying to get stronger, faster, leaner, cut, cut weight and uh, try to get down to, to my goal of uh, my goal weight of uh, 265 and I'm gonna do it in intervals and I'm gonna do it as fast as possible but uh, yeah I, I'm trying to get down to 265 that way I can achieve or begin to achieve goals and, and that's what I'm doing now as far as fighting um, at local MMA and playing football again um, and that's coming soon so I gotta get in, in real good shape uh, but, I mean, the more I was working out, I was thinking about, you know, how much time I've wasted in my life, and and I just, it, it pissed me off that I'm 25 and I haven't achieved more, but um, uh, it's okay, though, because it's, it's definitely a, a time for a change, and it's time to own it, time to own my life and bring it back to where it needs to be, and, I mean, that's the, that's the best, that's the best advice I can give to anyone, if, 
if you don't like your life the way it is right now, if you're working somewhere you don't like, or you're doing things you don't like, or your habits are what you don't like, or you feel the, you feel bad about yourself or whatever, you change it. You can change it always, always. It's never too late until in, until the end of your life. At the end of your life, and that's it. That's that's all you got. But it's never too late until then. When you're 80 and look back on your life and you, and you say, what did you achieve? You know, if you're a greeter at Walmart, I'm going to say you didn't achieve your goals. I'm not saying anything gets bad against people, the you know, the greeters of Walmart. They're generally nice people. But if you're, if that is what you end up being at that age because you can't retire because you never, you know, saved money or whatever, then I'm going to say that you failed at achieving your goals in life. And I refuse to do that. I refuse to let this life pass me by without doing something incredibly special and special for myself and having the main goals that I want out of this life. And that's what's going to happen. But I'm tired of hearing people bitch, always bitching, saying that they can't do it. They can't do it because of, and I've never said that. I may have not been on on a path for, for good goals. Now, or my, the path to achieve my goals, I may have been fucking off my, my life up until now for 25 years, but I've never said that I can't do something and and, and simply just blamed it on or found an excuse for the reason I couldn't do it. I've never done that. And I'm not saying that it makes me better than anyone, but I'm just sick of it. Stop bitching about your life and why you can't do something and just go do it because you can. You always can, no matter what it is. If you want a big house, million dollars, uh, fame, fortune, wealth, if the best cars, you want a Bentley, Lamborghini, Ferrari, uh, what the hell ever you want. You want to act. If you want to do acting, you want to be a comedian, you want to be a singer, you can do it. If your voice is shitty and you want to be a singer, take vocal lessons. I mean, there's always a way. There's always a path. You can't read? Take Go, go to a community college. They'll teach you. I promise you. I promise you. They have classes for everything. Everything. Seek it. You got to look. You got to search. But don't bitch day after day after day after day because you work fucking wherever you work and you don't like it. I mean, I don't like my job now, but I'm doing something about it. I don't like my job. About it. I don't bitch about it because I know that it's temporary. My job is temporary because it's just a job. It's not a career. I work, I do landscaping. Now, don't get me wrong. One of the, the, uh, the things that me and uh, a friend of mine for 17 years are planning on doing is open our own landscaping business here rather soon and we we have sat down and we wrote down goals well what's it going to take for us to do that what do we need we wrote down the the equipment that we need okay well how much money is all that going to take all right we, we did some some research we found out how much money okay so now we have a goal for each one of us how much money we need to need to save to do that and as soon as each one of us get that set amount we're going to go in 50 50 and we're going to buy all the equipment and we're going to start doing it slowly uh, on days that we're off from our job because he works in the same company, with the same company, doing the same thing. On days we're off our job, we're going to go around and try to find clients and stuff like that. I mean, that's just one of many goals I have for myself and, and you know, and, and in the end for my family. Because that's the main thing I want to do is make sure that my family has ha, is able to have everything they, they want. My parents and my sister and my niece. And, and my future kids and my future wife. But I'm going to get off here. Um... It, it felt good to get back in the gym. I'm going to do these videos even more regularly. I'm going to try to be on here all the time. And, and and I'll definitely be updating Facebook. You know, check it out. Facebook.com backslash time to own it. Uh, obviously, if you're, you're looking at this video, more likely you're on my, my video channel. If not, YouTube.com backslash time to own it. And, um, and you can follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com backslash Chuckum. That's C-H-U-C-K underscore E-M. And uh, just, you know, comment subscribe favorite like the videos whatever it's all inspiration it's all something i use every, every single day when i wake up and i say i'm gonna make this day matter for something this day i'm gonna kick this day's ass and it the, this is just a product uh, of the videos i've seen from uh the mr the warrior man um check out his uh his videos on mr ultimate warrior that's uh, youtube.com backslash mr ultimate warrior um and he has a Facebook channel too, um, facebook.com backslash official ultimate warrior. Uh, just check check his videos out, check the Facebook, like his. I mean, this is all, he planted a seed in my head and and it's just bloomed into a full-blown tree of knowledge for, for what I need to do with my life. But, you know, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I hope you're inspired by it and I hope you're able to give me comments to inspire me. And uh, other than that... 
stay around. It's going to only get more exciting from here. Until next time.